Hi, I'm Stuart, and welcome to Sirenet Television. We're going to step outside the studio building here at Sirenet Television and take a look at Chris disassembling and reassembling a nano series of product from Whelan. He's going to be showing you the different types of lenses that you can use with respect to the Whelan Nano. It's a great product for off-road enthusiasts. It's also a great product for emergency service departments throughout the world to use as supplementary lighting. Let's go outside right now and see what Chris is up to. Hi, I'm Chris and thanks for joining me on Sirenet Television. We have here our Land Rover LR4 demonstration vehicle. Equipped on the front push bumper here, we have Nanos from Whelan Engineering. Top of the bar here, we have the black housed Nano 6, six diode unit. Bottom here, we have the three diode, so the Nano 3, again in black. What I'm gonna do here is quickly show you how the Nanos come apart on the front facing here and how you do a lens change for changing the units either to a spot or to a flood, depending on how you're gonna be mounting and using them on your application. First thing we're gonna go ahead and do is remove the outside lens housing here. So now we got the screws backed out. Total of four, we'll go ahead and finish removing the screws completely. And once you have the last screw free, your lens will come off. It's a good idea to keep an extra hand because as soon as you take your housing off here that protects your lens and holds it on to the nano itself, your lens is going to want to slide down. So we'll go ahead, take our lens here, pull that away. Going to go ahead and take a new lens here, which happens to be the flood optic lens. The lens itself might be a little hard to see here in the camera, has a rough side and a smooth side. When you're installing the lens on your Nano, make sure that you have the rough side of your lens facing inward. We'll go ahead and set it there. Take the frame housing here. Again, two hands works great for holding the lens inside as well as the frame housing here. Go ahead and take our screws again. Just gonna go ahead and kind of do a cross here with putting them in first by hand tight. That way it holds the lens in securely as well as aligns the housing properly. Go ahead, we'll cinch these down nice and snug. And I like to do it almost in an X, like you're tightening lug nuts on your rims. That way, your gasket inside your housing here seals evenly all the way around your light head. And so now we've gone ahead and done the full lens change from what was on here originally as a spot lens to the flood optic lens. So now that I've gone ahead and switched out the Nano 6 diode units from their original spot lenses to the flood lenses, I'm going to go ahead and again do the same process for the Nano 3s that we have down here. So go ahead and remove the screws here.
kick in. It's always a good idea to have an extra hand when you're doing your lens changes on your nanos. We'll take this off. Again, lens here. This is the non-optic, which is the spot. And we'll go ahead and take the flood optic that we have here. For the flood optics, again, there is a rough side and a smooth side. When affixing the lens onto your nano, again, make sure that you're putting the rough side of the lens to the inside. Go ahead, take our screws again. Put them in here again, just so they're hand tightened. That way again, just holds the outside of the nano housing and the lens. And again, now that I've gotten them in here hand tightened, go ahead and take a screwdriver and we'll cinch it down. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten the screws here in a cross pattern. That way, again, the front of the housing seals nice into the lens and the gasket that's inside the housing to keep moisture out. Well, thanks for joining me here on Sirenet Television watching how to do a lens change on your wheel and nanos, be it the six diodes or the three diodes. Again, I'm Chris. Thanks for joining me. Wow, outside broadcast, Chris. That's the first. I'm Stuart, and that was an interesting product on the nano. Thanks for watching Sonet Television.